At first glance, my field site seemed devoid of life. Here, wind has blown away soil and plants, leaving behind a seemingly unattractive rocky surface. Really though, it's all a matter of scale. Get down on your knees, pull out the magnifying lens, and you'll enter a different world. Yellow curled tubes nestled among deciduous shrubs, black steel wool clinging to the soil surface, perfect golden goblets hoping for a raindrop. This is the world of lichens. Lichen, a miraculous symbiosis. A fungus working together with algae or cyanobacteria to create something more than the sum of its parts. Able to live in the harshest conditions, often the first to colonize new land. Once I started noticing them, lichens were all I could see. I eagerly took photos, made sketches, and collected specimens. Back home, I unpacked my lichens, opened the field guides, and dug in. Quickly, I realized I was in over my head. Were the pseudopodicia covered in grayish tomentum? Did the apothecia have lobulate margins? I couldn't even decipher one sentence without getting stuck. Overwhelmed but determined, I reached out for help. I went to the Canadian Museum of Nature to learn the language of lichen identification. I performed spot tests, placing tiny droplets of chemical solutions on lichens and waiting for a color change. Under the microscope, I cut lichens into thin slivers, like a loaf of bread. I compared my specimens to ones collected and identified by experts. Identifying each species became a rewarding puzzle. Just as in Greenland, the world of lichens again opened before me. What incredible organisms working together to survive such harsh environments. What an incredible science to study such overlooked diversity. This appreciation is what I hope to share with students in Greenland and beyond. With the Joint Science Education Project, I have seen the world of lichens open before students' eyes. The realization that lichens are everywhere, more beautiful and diverse than you would ever imagine.